Hi everyone, welcome back to Mentoring Sessions with me, Pastor M. Um, today I'm just going to be sharing a few tips for surviving 2021. So yes, 2021 is here and um, a lot of people don't know what to expect, <laughs> to be honest, after what we saw in 2020. It's like, we don't know what's coming, we don't know where this is going, there's just such a lot of drama and the year's just starting. So. I just want to drop 21 tips that I think will help you survive 2021. So let's. Number one, the word of God. Yeah, I'm going to drop those kind of tips <laughs> because those are the eternal tips that will help you. So number one, the word of God. I don't think you will survive 2021 without the word of God. Um, the Bible says that his word is a lamp onto our feet. So literally it's what shows us the way to go, how to live, where to go, um, how to act. Um, it pretty much has answers for everything, for parenting, for marriage, for finances, for everything you're looking for is pretty much in the word. So if you're going to survive 2021, one of the things you're going to do is that you're going to invest in the word of God. So 2021 is the year that you're going to have to invest in the word of God. You have to chase after the word, study the word, uh, find messages, anything that can, can help you understand the code, pretty much. Um, the map for surviving this year is in 2021, is in the word. Yeah, sorry, it's in the word. So you need to take time out, study the word, have your study time, read the Bible. I don't think there's any other way to say this. The word of God, it will be your major survival tip. So read the word, study the word, invest in the word, read books about the word, um, open your Bible for yourself, buy a physical Bible, underline, mark, anything that jumps at you, read it in as many versions as you can possibly find. I have a video on how to study the word. It's called soap. Um, so if you use the soap method it would help you um but number one is definitely the word of god i would say start with the word okay um number two would be the holy spirit no it's as in you were planning to do 2021 without the holy spirit <laughs> did you do it in 2020 how did that pan out for you please is it working for you you cannot do 2021. You can't survive 2021 without the Holy Spirit. Because the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit will teach us all things, including how to survive the year. So I know that sometimes we believe that when Jesus was saying that the Holy Spirit would come to teach us all truths or he would teach us all things, we were thinking it was only spiritual things. He said all. All means all. So surviving 2021 will be largely dependent on how much you can hear the Holy Spirit. A relationship with the Holy Spirit, listening to him minute by minute, second by second. One of the things that God said this year to me um, is that he will guide me with his eyes. So it will be blow by blow instruction, step by step, turn here, stop here, move here, do this. So I have to be listening for him. And the only way you can have a relationship with the Holy Spirit um, is to spend time with him. Okay, it's like normal relationships. So talking to him all the time, asking questions, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? Should I stop? Should I go? You know, and he would definitely answer. The Holy Spirit is a person. Okay, so the way you would have a relationship with your friend is the way you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. So I do not think you can survive this year without the Holy Spirit. So yes, please invest in time with the Holy Spirit, okay, and relationship with him. Number three. My third survival tip for 2021 would be faith. And simply, I mean, it's not rocket science. It's simply because the Bible tells us um, in Hebrews 11, I think verse 6, that without faith is impossible, okay? And I always say this. I know that that scripture goes on to tell us that it's impossible to please God um, because you must first believe that he is and he's a rewarder. But those first couple of words, you know, just change everything for me. Without faith, it is impossible. What is impossible? Everything, including 2021. <laughs> so you're going to have to believe against all odds, okay? You're going to have to believe for a, a future that you desire, 
um, believe that all your dreams will come to pass in 2021. You're going to believe that the word of God will come to pass in your life. So even when people are getting sicker, you would know that you will be healed because the word says so. So 2021, you're going to have to be in absolute faith, believing the word of God, believing that God is real, first of all, and that he's a rewarder of them that chase after him and are obedient to his word and to his way. So I don't think that you will really survive 2021 without faith, to be honest. You need to give it um, immense faith, in fact, immeasurable faith, um, believing for the best. And that's what we'll see in 2021. Number four, prayer. You can't survive 2021 without prayer. That's one of my major survival tips for this year. It was one of my major ones for 2020 as well, as well but in 2021, let me put it this way. You know how the Bible says um, that God's ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts? Literally. Hmm? For you to have sense this year, you need to spend time talking to God. If, you've, if you talk to someone who's smarter than you all the time, eventually you will begin to sound like that person because they will frame your thought patterns. They will, they will frame how you think. They will frame how you make decisions. They will frame how you make plans, how you set goals. It's the same thing with God. So when you spend time in prayer, talking to God, um, asking him questions, you know, literally just spending time with him, eventually you begin to think like him. So when I say, for you to have sense this year, you know, <laughs> you have to, talk to God. So you have to spend time in prayer. Um, really invest in quality prayer time. And I don't just mean prayer time like your quiet time in the morning. I mean consistently talking to him throughout the day. So don't just have um, a prayer life. I would say have it, live a life of prayer so you're consistently in communion with him at all times. Um, and he's, he's willing to have that kind of relationship with you. So it's up to you um, to make the move. You know, God is the kind of person that um, wants you to make a move. He says, draw to me and I'll draw near to you. He's already shown us that he loved us first by giving us his son. So he's now waiting for you to take up the offer. He's saying, draw near to me and I'll draw near to you. I want to have a relationship with you. I want to talk to you. I want to help you. I don't want you to suffer. <laughs> and if you don't want to survive this 2021, you better talk to the person who has lived the year before, okay? So prayer is definitely um, something we shouldn't play with. However, I would say this. Um, one of the major things we should pray about this year is hearing ears and seeing eyes. Um, and understanding hearts as well. Because, like what happened last year, a lot of times God even gave us instructions about the year, but we didn't get it. So I'll give you an example. I remember last year... Um, gaining momentum last year, the beginning of the year, one of the things God said to me, and I declared it just as I heard it, because I was preaching gaining momentum last year as well. Um, I declared it just as I heard it, and it was the fact that this would be a year of rest, but it wouldn't be a year of laziness. And when we said, we all shouted, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody saw COVID coming. Nobody saw it coming at all. We didn't know that we we're going to be on lockdown and we would be forced to rest. But we would not be lazy because we'd be working. Last year, I worked more than I've ever worked in my life. And yet, it was a time of rest for me because I did it on my own. I don't know what to say at my own pace, but I did it more relaxed, you know. I, we cut out all the travel time, cut out a lot of stress. Five. Number five tip for surviving 2021 would be <laughs> don't be stubborn. Yes, don't be stubborn. Um, I think one of the secrets to surviving 2021 would be um, allowing yourself to be led by God easily. Like follow God really easily. Don't make him struggle with you. Don't let him pull you like a horse or a mule. Um, don't let him have to use circumstances and situations to really force you into obeying him. Um, if you're going to survive 2021, quick um, obedience would be so important. It would be one of the things that I think would save you this year. If, um, if you don't make God force you to do things. I think Proverbs 29 verse 1 says that um, if you are often re reproved and you harden your heart, then 
your, um, your, your, how do I say it? I think that your neck will be broken now without remedy or something like that. I'm just paraphrasing. But that scripture um, makes it clear that if you con God is constantly having to go the, the long route to get you to do something, after a while, sudden destruction will fall on you. And he said, yes, actually, it's sudden destruction and without remedy. Nobody will be able to save you because if God has been trying to save you for all this while, been trying to get your attention, been trying to get you to do things and you're not doing it, then I don't think anybody else can help you. If the Lord Most High, the Almighty God has tried and he said, I'm not doing it again, ah, nobody else can help you. So for you to survive in 2021, I think one of the things that you must really, really work on is not being stubborn. Not expecting God to give you plenty of reasons, 10 reasons for you to do one thing. You know, once God says something to you, um, 2021 is the year to just move quickly. So don't be stubborn would be my number five tip. Number six, tip for surviving 2021. Love. Yep. First Corinthians 13 will be your best friend in 2021. Um, Everything that love is literally is what you have to be. So you have to be more patient. You have to be more kind. Um, you have to work at not being easily offended. Um, believe all things. Believe the best of everyone. Um, live, a, live your life in a way that your heart is free of any offense and any strife. And I know that it's not necessarily going to be easy, but it's something that you have to work on. And when, when you... Um, when you can achieve, well, to a large extent, living a life of love, um, then things will begin to work for you. Because where there's strife, um, there's all manner of evil work. So once Satan can get you to not walk in love, then he can bring all the evil things in your life. So sickness can come, um, poverty can come, um, evil friends can come. Um, but once love is your way, it means that God has full access to you. And when God comes into your life, he comes with everything that's beautiful. So I think love will be a major survival tip for us in 2021. Okay. Number seven. Number seven survival tip for 2021 for me. I think if you're going to make it in 2021, you've got to take action. And I mean take action now. Okay. Um, delayed obedience will not work in 2021. Prompt obedience will be the key. So when God says something or you have an idea, move on it quickly. There's no time. Take action. Procrastination would be your biggest enemy in 2021. If you feel like you have time, you're going to realize, sadly, that you don't. Um, if you think, oh, the idea is mine, you're going to realize, sadly, that we all have access to God. So the same God who gave you the idea will give me too. <laughs> so... Um, my advice would be move on everything quickly. God gives you an advice. Move. If it tells you anything, just move quickly. You know, prompt obedience. Don't overthink it. Don't overplan it. Don't ask everyone but him. So if you feel like God is leading you to start a business, don't, run, go, don't go around asking everyone, oh, should I do this? Yeah, counsel is important because the Bible says in the multitude of counsel, there's safety. But be careful of um, asking people as if, they are equal to God. Don't equate them with God. So God has given you an instruction. You ask him, what do you think? Do you think I should do it? What, who, they, as in, they are supposed to think. They have mind to think when God has spoken. You know, there's counsel necessary, I understand. But it's very important that you don't elevate people to God when you're very sure God has said something. So prompt obedience would be key in 2021. Number eight, the word of God. Yeah. I know I said it before. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> you need the word of God. Honestly, I don't think just saying it once is going to be enough. It's not going to cut it. I think you need to get this into your head, into your heart, and into your spirit. The fact that you need God. The um, Bible says, your word have I hid in my heart so that I will not sin against you. And I think that if you're going to avoid error um, in 2021, you're going to have to read the Bible. Okay, read the Bible. Read the word for yourself. I don't even think just hearing messages. You know, sometimes God wants to speak to you directly. And he will do that by illuminating his word to you. So when you're reading the Bible, it will just come alive. Like light will enter your soul, you know. And there are things that may be a general re revelation concerning the scripture. But for you, um, it might not have a private interpretation. But for you, it would 
it will come alive in a, a completely different way. So those kind of things only happen when you take time to study the word, not reported speech. It is, God said this to me because I was reading and it just occurred to me that, oh, this is really what God is saying, okay? Um, I said, the scripture I shared before was, your word have I hid in my heart so that I will not sin against you. You have to hide God's word in your heart if you are not going to live in error in 2021. You have to meditate on the word so that you will observe to do everything in it. Then you will have good success. You will prosper because you are looking at instruction straight from the word of God. So yeah, I know I said it before, but if you ask me my number eight tip is still the word of God. So avoid error, read the Bible. That's my number eight tip. Number nine. Number nine survival tip for 2021, respect yourself. Mm -hmm. Let it sink in. Respect yourself. Hunty, not every challenge is for you. Don't boss it. Don't slow-mo it, especially if you can't slow-mo. Don't, I don't know what all those challenges are. But Hunty, it's not for you. Trust me. Honko, it's not you they are talking to. They didn't challenge you. When they brought out the challenge, they were not referring to you. Just face your fronts. Don't do it. Respect yourself in 2021. Don't go naked on social media just because you want to gain followers. Don't do stupid things like that. Respect yourself. Respect for yourself will, will, will keep nonsense. For lack of a better word, for nonsense from coming into your life. There's a way you respect yourself. Not everybody that can talk to you. I don't know if English is doing this. I've been trying very, like 2021, one of my resolutions, I'll be speaking English a lot more so that my father's school fees will not waste. But I don't think it's really working, this one I'm trying to say. Just respect yourself, Sha. Behave. Do you understand? Behave. Just be remember all the things your mother told you. All the things that your aunties used to tell you. You know those, remember whose child you were, all those 2 a.m. advice they used to give you. And they didn't even used to give you. Advice yourself. It's not too late. Go and watch my Proverbs video and be using to advise yourself. Respect yourself in 2021. It's one of the best things you're going to do for yourself. It will limit the kind of nonsense that comes into your life. It will limit the kind of rubbish people that come into your life. It will, it will give you worth, self-worth. It will help your self-esteem. So all the challenges are not for you. Say it to yourself. Say all the challenges. Say it slowly. All the challenges are not for me. I will not boss it, I will not slow-mo, and I will not, I don't know what they are, but I will not do all the challenges, okay? Because they are getting crazier. Mm? Everything is not for you. Just respect yourself, value your self-worth, and behave yourself, okay? Um, number 10. Number 10 survival tip will be respect for others. So after respecting yourself, if you can, um, respect others, especially on social media. Just because you can buy data doesn't mean you should go around just talking. Um, because you have a voice doesn't mean you should just go around and talk. Let me tell you what happened to Zechariah in the Bible. Zechariah was John the Baptist's father. Um, and he didn't have a child. A great man of God. Him and his wife had been barren for years. And then the angel came to him. Angel Gabriel came to him and said, Oh, the Lord has found favor with blah, blah, blah. And the Lord is going to give you a son. And it's going to be this. It's going to be that. Da, 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 da. They told him plenty of things. Uncle said, as is going to happen, sir, you are a great man of God. You are even holding incense, which means that you believe that God is, and you believe that everything God says comes to pass. I was just imagining as he's shaking that thing. Angel Gabriel, he may small for slap him. If not, be say, human beings, senior angels, for slap him. He say me, that I stand in the presence of God. I'm telling you something. Say, in short, from today you will not talk again. That voice, you will not use it. See, eh? sometimes... I used to wish that God would just take some people's voice away. Just because you have a voice doesn't mean you should use it anyhow. And that's what that thing taught me. That just because you can talk does not mean you should talk. So in, in Jeremiah said, before you spoil work for us, we will shut your mouth. And some of you in 2021, don't let in Jeremiah shut you up. Help yourself and shut yourself up. Respect other people. Respect people's use on social media. Respect people's views. You may not agree, but just respect it. It's okay for us to agree not to, to, I mean, agree to disagree. So if someone says something, you don't agree with it, you don't have to insult them. Walk away. You're not going to die. Walk away. Walk away. Unfollow them. Mute them. Or just mind your business. They have a right. They have as much right to their views. And 
the reason one of the reasons I'm saying this is because in 2021 views are going to be very very different like light and darkness will be so clear in 2021 you will see Christians who are trying to be Christian who are trying to remember that we stand for something and people who don't I mean let me just put it in plain terms there will be a lot of persecution in 2021 a lot of persecution will happen in 2021 um, where people would would come after you for what you believe just respect people and walk away um, don't don't always engage don't don't attend every fight you're invited to the same way you don't attend every party you're invited to i hope don't attend every fight you're invited to so learn to respect people respect their views respect their time um another thing is respecting people's time so if if you if you happen to have an ap appointment with someone be there on time don't waste people's time sometimes when people people tell me they want to speak to me and i say okay when they start the story in 1978, when my parents met, I said, Auntie, Auntie, if I listen to your 1978, when will we get to 2020? Do you know how many decades that is? I want to start from there. Respect people's time. Don't act like you have all the time. Be prompt, be short, be sharp, be accurate, be on time. Don't let people, you have an appointment and people are waiting for you. So please, respect other people. Respect their space, respect their time. Um, respect their space. Let me just move on if I get drawn into that. Okay. So number 11, now we're halfway. Okay. 2021 tips for surviving 2021. My number 11 would be get busy. Um, that phone call, there was a phone call many years ago that say, who she face your work. Exactly. <laughs> so who she put your name there, face your work in 2021. In other words, mind your business. Okay. Mind your business business bible says let every man mind his business and work with his own hands mind your if people can say we should mind our business ah then we should mind our business mind your business this year don't get involved in every gist that passes don't get involved don't be nosy mind your business i think one of the reasons why people don't want to achieve as much as they should is because instead of focusing on their own business they focus on other people's own so you are busy Jesus said it. You're busy looking at the speck in your brother's eye, but there's a whole log, dare I say, a whole plantation in your eye. And Jesus is saying, you know, the reason why you can't notice the log in your eye is because you're so busy looking at the speck that shouldn't be... I mean, the concentration it would take you to see a speck. <laughs> Uncle, how did you miss the log in your eye? It's because you're not face, facing your own work. Face your work. Mind your business. For you to survive 2021, get busy. Get busy. An idle mind is a devil's workshop. So get busy. Okay? Um, number 12. Number 12 is one tip that I take. I don't take lightly at all, and that's worship. Um, I know some people will be like, worship. How is that a tip? Mm. Let me tell you something. Eh? In 2021, you'll be required to submit to God on many issues. And one of the ways that it will be easy for you is to constantly remind yourself of the worship of the God you're submitting to. So worship will enlarge him, magnify him in your eyes. So every time you feel stuck, every time you feel like this is too hard, God, why are you asking me to do this? Every time you're challenged beyond your ability, reminding yourself that God is greater than this you know bigger than this will help you so worship will be one of the things that i don't think you'll be able to survive without worship in 2021 um it will be something that would help you to hit your goal so when you feel tired exhausted you know weary you know because like i always say